Well, now to the major new addition proposed for iconic Cottesloe Beach. A first look at plans for the $14 million Cottesloe Pier development were revealed yesterday and it's already got people talking. Joining us this morning for the inside scoop is the designer of the project, no less, architect Laurie Scannon. Laurie, good morning to you. Thanks for your time. Uh, good morning, Tim. Thank you. A big project. Uh, talk us through some of the main features that you've uh, put down in plan form, at least at this stage. Uh, yes, it's a, it's a group of uh, pavilions at the end of about a pier, about 35 metres off the end of the existing groin. And the combination includes a uh, cafe, uh, function rooms, um, there's a small bar, uh, there's an underwater observatory. Part of the area will include a lookout tower into, in, into the roof. And that lookout tower can be used for uh, shark watching or you know, a lookout tower for the Cottesloe Surf Life Saving Club, which we've offered it to them. Uh, there's an area within the uh, compound which can be fully enclosed for a shark proof swimming area. Uh, there's a pier for public, uh, public use for the children to use. There's several other pavilions on the pier for fishing. So we've tried to design it as something that uh, the community as, as a large will embrace and it can be used for a maximum time of the year. I'm sure uh, most will embrace it. Laurie, there's always a few though that are resistant to change. T talk us through some of the challenges that you face here. I imagine trying to get a structure that really blends into the surroundings was a big challenge for you. Uh, you're absolutely right and, and being on the you know outside there and in the actual view of most of the public from the beach we've tried to do a an architectural vernacular that uh, you know blends very nicely into the Cottesloe Bay that's all part of it that making sure that it actually sits very comfortably into the Cottesloe Bay the actual massing of the buildings uh, even though they're reasonably large size collectively they they look smaller than they are and so it's, it's been very important to make sure that we do do something that, uh, as I said, uh, looks very comfortable in the Cottesloe Bay and within the community. We want the community to embrace the building as their building and, uh, and, and not only use it, but uh, it, it, to, to help the overall ambience of the Cottesloe you know, beachside community. I live down here and we want that to be maintained uh, and we believe we have, have achieved that and certainly from the responses we've had, uh, we, we're very happy with the, the initial public response. We've seen ideas for developments there at Cottesloe come and go over the years. Laurie, is something like this long overdue there? Well, we believe so. That's why I started this journey. It's been taken quite a while to get here. But one of the things, I live here and I come down the beach every uh, most mornings and you have a situation we see so many, especially tourists, come down, and especially to come to our iconic beach, Cottesloe. It's our best beach down here. Uh, and so often you see them, they just look around and there's really not that much to do. So. We, we don't want a lot of things happening down here, but I just think there's a need for a few more well-located uh, uh, facilities which can collectively uh, produce just the right amount of activity down here. Not too much, but uh, yes, it's overdue in my opinion. I think so. I think most would agree with you there, Laurie. Appreciate your time this morning. We look forward to it coming to fruition. You're welcome. Thank you again.